I'm here with my buddy, Philip Williams, and uh, I'd like to encourage you to watch the Phil Williams show, and you can go to PatriotInsights.com. All right. Appreciate you. It is that time for my response to a tweet. And today's tweet says, Phil, you sound like a broken record, repeating the same old tired points. Phil, you sound like a broken record, repeating the same old retired, I mean, same old tired points. Wow. Interesting. Especially coming from a supporter of the repeater in chief. <laughs> wow. You know, the part that's interesting is that if you Donald Trump supporters were ever to even approach the concept of fair while you're sitting there whining, I'm treated unfairly, I'm treated unfairly, and you know, sound like some kind of just ridiculous orange sun kissed punk. It would, it would almost be like he would have a chance to really, really win some people over. See, you think people are just dumb as hell. The very same thing that you guys complain about somebody else doing is exactly what you guys are applauding like a bunch of ridiculous seals. Oh, oh, Donald Trump! Oh, oh, Donald Trump! You sound like some sea lions. You're applauding this guy but you're hating somebody for the same thing. Donald Trump was able to be able to sell you his snake oil because of how he repeats himself. The sadder part about it is this, I think I understand why you're mad at me. Because Donald Trump repeats it at a sixth grade level. And I think I'm repeating it at a much higher grade level than you can understand. So if I was able to break what I'm saying down to a sixth grade level, then maybe I might get some love from you guys. Or you might be able to see the hypocrisy in your argument. The hypocrisy in your fear, feared leader. He's the one that has all the fear. We're not scared of that dude. But let me attempt to break my argument down on a sixth grade level. Donald Trump is a cheater. He cheats people. Person tried to go to school and he charged them a lot of money. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me do it like Donald Trump. He's a cheater. Yes, a cheater. A big time cheater. And he's a loser. He, he cheats people. Yes, he does. He cheats people. He cheats them. They tried to go to school. They were going to school. They were trying to go to school. He charged them a lot of money, an awful lot of money, a lot of money. But then he cheated them. And not only did he cheat them, but China needs to be stopped. We have to stop China. China is ripping us off. What does that have to do with cheating people? It's the same thing. Cheater China, cheater, cheater. He's a cheater. That's what he does. He cheats. Donald Trump lies. Along with his cheating. He lies. He does. He tells big lies. What does he lie about? He lies about not lying. He does. He does. He lies about not lying. He lies. He's a liar. He lies to his wife when he cheats. When he goes to China. I'm going to build a wall to protect me from how Donald Trump cheats and lies. I'm gonna build a wall in this law. I'm gonna make Donald Trump pay for it. Yes, because he cheats. He's gonna to try to cheat me paying for the wall, but that's okay. I'll have something for him. Did I mention China? Yep, the Great Wall of China. Guess who built that wall? Exactly, because he's a cheater. See, you see how ridiculous this is this guy's whole foreign policy. This is everything. 
America's gonna be great again. The, but the point is, point is, is that you're cool when this guy repeats himself and he sounds ridiculous. At least I'm making a coherent argument. I'm sorry if you can't understand anything past the sixth grade level and what you're in love with. But this man, come on. The reason why he repeats is because he wants you to believe it. The reason why I repeat is because you need to believe it. The difference is, is this, you believing him versus believing me will have our country in an unbelievable place. You don't even have to wait four more years. Wait one more month. Let July come around and you guys continue to give this country to Donald Trump. What's going to be repeated is what you've been going through the last eight years. Just on steroids and estrogen. And that's what's going to be repeated. The Supreme Court? Repeated. Obamacare? Repeated. Just on steroids and estrogen. You guys better start making this dude be more... Matter of fact, it's too late. Forget it. Thank you. It's done. It's over. This is what you're going to be hearing repeated. Constantly. Free the delegates 2016. Free the delegates 2016. Did I say free the delegates 2016? Free the delegates. They got to be freed. We have to free them. They're captive. They are enslaved. We got to free them. Why do we have to free the delegates? Because they need to be free in order for us to stay free. If we do not free the delegates, if we do not talk to the delegates and get them to understand anybody but Trump, anybody but Trump, did I say anybody but Trump? Anybody, not somebody, not those bodies, anybody. Go get the handicapped guy Donald Trump made fun of. He could be Hillary. Anybody but Trump. Go get some of the kids that Donald Trump said Ben Carson molested. They should be grown now. They could beat Trump. They could beat Hillary. Anybody but Trump. This is the point I'm trying to make. Free the delegates. You have to get your delegates to understand that this ridiculous orange person is going to destroy the country because he's designed to hand this thing over to liberalism. We have to repeat this and repeat this and repeat this. Never Trump. The key to never Hillary is getting rid of Trump. Our nation depends on you delegates. I hate the fact that you guys are in this position. But it is worth it on behalf of my children, my neighbor's children, the children that I'm the youth pastor of of the church. It's imperative that you understand for our future. I am begging you to make the right conscious decision. Know that Donald Trump does not represent our interest. He has said it multiple times. He has flip-flopped and he has put that on repeat. He is not going to change. He has said that. Believe him. He is the same old liberal businessman extraordinaire that's extraordinarily unsuccessful at a lot of the businesses where it matters. He's very successful at cheating Americans. He's very successful at getting wives, multiple of them, and while he's sleeping with other people's wives. His moral compass does not exist. And if it does, it's in an electric field, almost like in the movie Avatar, and all of the things are going all over the place. This man does not have a moral center. And this man makes Sodom and Gomorrah say, damn, I should have ran for president. Period. He does not represent the right. Unless you delegates are willing to accept that you no longer represent the right either. You represent big business, crony capitalism, the power structure of the elites, the Republican Party that is really just like Donald Trump, a bunch of Democrats with an R in front of them. They're rhinos, they are not conservative, they do not care about the Constitution, and they're cool with us going down the road of Sharia law. And please, for the God's sake, stop comparing what's going on in Britain as some kind of prerequisite to everybody's cool with Trump. 
Britney's just said we're cool with, we're not cool with the Trumps and the Trumps that the Trumps had funded. Period. They're tired of crony capitalism and Donald Trump is the epitome of crony capitalism. Look up the definition of crony capitalism and you see Donald Trump there like this. Period. Wake up, people, delegates, we need you. If our forefathers can come and talk to you in a seance, get a Ouija board so George Washington can say, save us, delegates. Save us. Hey, I'm Phil Williams. Hey, Sean. Hey, wipe your mouth, man. Wipe your mouth, you got something white on it. And that's my response to a tweet on the Phil Williams Show.